everyone how are you all doing i hope you are really well i hope you've had a lovely week and thank you so much for coming to join me for another weekly vlog so it's monday today and i've been doing some filming at home and tomorrow i'm actually heading into london i'm having my hair cut my fellow bob girlies will know this when you have a bob you just instantly i feel like you just always want it cut it's only ever at like the perfect length for such a short period of time i think this is too long i liked when i had it quite short and i want to go not super short but i'm thinking like a good is that an inch i feel like an inch is quite a lot so i get scared saying to the hairdresser an inch i feel like i always have to do the measurement but i am thinking like like that much off but i'm just ready for a little bit of a hair refresh so i think i'm just gonna go a little bit shorter i've got an exciting shoot next week so i thought it'd be nice to have my hair cut for that as well as i'm going into london tomorrow i'm going to have a little browse on bond street because there's a couple of things i've got my eye on when i buy any new designer items I want to buy them at the very beginning of the season so I've got the whole season to enjoy it if it's a seasonal item. How many times can I say season? For example, if I'm going to buy some sandals, I'm not going to buy them in August because I've only really got August, September to wear them. If I buy them in March, I know it might be a bit chilly now, but hopefully in April I can wear them. Over the year I like to buy a few designer accessories here and there to elevate my high street wardrobe and at the end of last year I was just not seeing anything that I liked. None of it took my fancy. I've got my eye on a couple of things that are making me feel a bit more excited. I'm gonna go and have a look tomorrow but whilst I'm going to have a look I'm going to go into Loewe because I bought this bag two years ago and I had previous Loewe basket bags, the ones with the thicker straps. I've got those 2018, 2019, I think, and they have lasted so well. But this one, I'm a bit disappointed because can you see, it's like fraying quite a lot. Um, on the edges, it's just like fraying a bit. On the handle, this bit that's supposed to cover, um, this has just come off and I just like don't think that's very good so I'm going to take it in tomorrow and see if they can replace it what I'm worried is they are going to say this is out of stock and they don't have it they love this bag but I'm just disappointed about the straps yeah I will see you in the morning for a haircut I'm just walking to my hair appointment now but it is a horrible day in London today it is wet and it's so loud and noisy on this road, I hope you can hear me. I hope I can keep my hair dry afterwards because I'm sure they're going to do a lovely blow dry and I just don't want this weather to ruin it. But I just stopped quickly at a prep to have a little acai bowl. There, oh my god, guys. I'm wearing white jeans and I'm right by the edge of the road. There's a coach coming. I think it's going to splash me. I don't know what to do. I'm right by the wall and I just can't get away from this rain. Right, I'm coming out to a junction and I need to check my next directions. I think my Google Maps has put me on like the driving route, not the walking route, because this does not feel very walking routey. <laughs> chopped off yesterday. I feel like without makeup and styling my hair properly it's not showing it off the best so I'm going to show you properly once I'm ready. It's probably a touch shorter than I thought but my hair grows so quickly anyway and I think it had got quite long so it needed a good refresh. It is a filming day at home today. I'm just going to make some breakfast. A breakfast that I'm having on repeat at the moment um, is a Greek yogurt, but this is a really thick one. There's actually not much left in here. I need to get more of this. 
So I follow this guy on Instagram. I think his Instagram, I'll leave it linked below. I think it's called Tonic Foods. He was saying that this is so much better than Greek style yogurt. And I didn't realize that I was actually buying Greek style yogurt. I thought I was buying Greek yogurt. Um, and I actually got this one from Aldi um, and it's got lots of protein in and I am trying to eat better. And my main thing is I want to feel fuller for longer uh, because I'm just like the queen of snacking. So I just kind of want to curb that a little bit. So I'm having the thick yogurt. We got the naked granola that seemed to have like the lowest sugar and um yeah the lowest sugar in so we've got that and then i'm going to put some fresh raspberries on top i love peanut butter so much i've got the whole earth the drizzler it makes it so much easier for things like this so get a bit of that on there and i just like to add a little bit of honey as well when I was in London yesterday, I made an exciting purchase. I got into this mindset last year where I just didn't want to spend my money on things. But then this year, there have been a couple of things that have been kind of on my wish list, I guess for a couple of years or for a while. Um, and I thought, do you know what? I am actually going to get them this year. They'll show you what I bought later. I am going to eat my breakfast um, and then get ready and start filming for the day. I can hear Bertie thrashing around. Uh, what's going on? Right, this blanket was across all of the sofa. Have you made yourself comfortable there now, after all of that? <coughs> what is going on? <coughs> There's clothes on the sofa, by the way, because I was just planning outfits and I have just come down to finding this strange dog. <laughs> You're going to fall off! I was gonna... <laughs> Bertie, look, you, look what you've done to all of the rugs and the mat, not the rugs, the mats. Yesterday when I was in London, I went out for lunch and I didn't eat all of the pasta and it was too delicious to throw away. So. I asked to take it away. So this is what I'm going to have for lunch today. I've also got some mozzarella in the fridge as well. So I'm going to put some of that on. I had my haircut yesterday. I haven't actually done anything to it this morning, apart from put some dry shampoo in it. It feels quite short. I can't remember if it was this short when I had it done in January. I've sat down because I've been filming some outfits this morning. I have bought five new items recently um, in my wardrobe and I wanted to show you them and show you how I'm going to be styling them up. First up is a green blazer. I feel like as we come into spring and summer, I definitely add more colour into my wardrobe and my wardrobe becomes a bit more fun and playful. I do find over autumn and winter, it's a bit more capsule orientated, which I love, um, but it's just a bit more stripped back and a bit more classic. I feel like spring and summer is such a fun time for the wardrobe. So many different colours and dresses and skirts and just, oh, I love spring and summer fashion. So adding a little pop of green in here, I love this green so much. It's such a nice sage green and the material is like textured as well. So I think that looks so nice. This is a size small. I actually picked this up in store and I felt like it was oversized enough, but now I'm thinking, do I go more oversized? I'm not sure. So I haven't pulled the tag out yet because I feel like I might just try the medium for size. I just want to check that. I didn't actually try the medium one. I just put the small on. I thought that will be fine, but I definitely should have tried the medium as well. Like it is big enough for sure, but I just love my blazers really oversized. And I love the tortoiseshell buttons on the sleeves as well. I think that against the green is so nice. Do the jackets. Oh, it just fell off the hanger. We'll do the jackets first. As I said, we are coming into spring, which I cannot wait for. The weather isn't saying that just yet, but Come on, spring. Um, so I'm hoping to be ditching the big coats and getting more little jackets out. And you know I've got that oversized one from H&M. Um, I just wanted to have a different color and a couple more 
little crop jackets because they're so nice for spring. And I saw this one on COS, it's so lovely. It's got these nice big tortoiseshell buttons. It's just so clean and simple. You could wear it undone with like a t-shirt underneath as a jacket or how I've styled it here. I've actually put it on with my long satin skirt just to show like a different way that you could style it because of course it would go so nicely with jeans and stuff. I just wanted to show another option and I've done all the buttons up so it's a bit more like a shirty jacket and I really like it. The colour is so lovely and this goes with my new Adidas Spaziales so nicely as well. The jumper I'm wearing is new as well. I know now isn't the best time to be buying knitwear. However, in spring in the UK, we'll still be wearing knitwear. And I love when we don't have to put a coat over just to wear this jumper and jeans and like even a pair of sandals. That's like my favourite kind of outfit. Um, this is such a gorgeous colour. It's looking quite green on the camera, but I'd say it's more of like a brownie colour. It is one of their cashmere jumpers, so I think it was about £100, but it feels so nice and um, I managed to get it when they had 15% off online, so I got a bit of a discount on it as well. So I think this is one that I will actually continue through, wearing through spring, and then it's such a gorgeous colour for when we come into autumn as well later in the year. Do you remember those white cos jeans that I've got? Um, I'll put a photo of them in here. They are like a barrel leg, and I love the fit of the legs so much. I got those last autumn I think and actually I love white jeans all year round so I've actually had so much wear from them throughout autumn and winter and now they'll just be perfect for spring and summer but they've got such a lovely leg shape on them and when I went to link them to share them on my stories a couple of weeks ago I saw that they had bought them out in blue. I've been wearing my Abercrombie wide leg relaxed fit jeans quite a lot recently which I love but I feel like that's more of a relaxed style they go nicely with trainers and things whereas these jeans I think are almost like a little bit smarter they they've just got such a nice shape to the leg and I cannot wait to wear these with like a nice white shirt tan sandals a basket bag in spring and summer um these are really yeah just they're a lovely wash of blue and they've just got this really nice flattering um kind of like curved leg and then similar to the jeans I've been wearing a lot of wide leg trousers recently um but I feel like as we're coming into spring I feel like a cropped Taylor trouser is also so nice. Um, I got these on Abercrombie. I am just always so blown away by the quality of Abercrombie. When I ordered my jumper from H&M, I also ordered some cream trousers, but the quality compared to the H&M cream trousers to these, these just feel like another level. These feel so nice. Almost got like a heaviness to the fabric, so they just hang really nicely and a really nice straight leg as well. Again, white shirts, white t-shirts, white tank tops with tan accessories in the spring will be so nice. But for now, I've popped it on with a t-shirt and blazer. These would be a really nice work trouser, but also, obviously, I don't go into an office. I just love to wear tailored trousers. I think it's a really nice way to elevate a look. You could wear them with trainers as well. I'm a big fan of Beauty Pie, and I've been a Beauty Pie member for about well, over four years, and I've just done some work with them over on Instagram for a new kit that they're offering. The, the work I've done for them is on Instagram, but I just really quickly wanted to share this deal on here because I think it's such good value for money. Um, and if you're thinking about joining Beauty Pie, this would be such a good time. They've got this new icons only deal, which has got five of their best selling products in this. It's almost like a starter kit, like an introductory, introduction to Beauty Pie. It's got a body scrub. I love this body scrub. It's my favorite one ever. It smells amazing. It's got hair oil, a really nice everyday mascara, a serum and a mascara. So the value of this would be £270, but it's £99 at the moment. And if you use my code, which I think it's Laura sent me, I'll put the link down below. If you just click that, it'll take you straight through. You can get it for £89. So all of those products for £89 and a year's Beauty Pie membership as well. That isn't part of my ad, but I just wanted to put it in here because I think it's genuinely a really good deal. And if you were thinking about joining Beauty Pie, now would be such a good time because you get a year's membership included in that as well. Got my lashes, they look so nice. And it's this mascara. I love all of their packaging as well. It's just like so simple and cool. Um, it's got such a cool brush on as well. Before I forget, quick TV recommendation. Um, 
the Ge is it the gentleman or just gentlemen it's a new series come out on netflix me and tom are already near the end and i think it only came out like a week ago or not even that um it's so good it's got i can't remember who is in it off the top of my head but it's got loads of well-known actors like you'll recognize so many faces and it's really good and the main guy he was also in white lotus and actually do you know what i didn't fancy him in the white lotus just because of the role he played but I actually fancy him now. I need to find what his name is. Um, it's made by Guy Ritchie, who also made the Gentleman film, which was also so good. That had Will, oh my God, what's his name? I keep wanting to say Will Young or Will Smith, but it's not as well. What is his name? Oh my God, why is my memory gone blank? Who's in Notting Hill? Why am I calling him Will? William Thacker, that's why I'm thinking of Will, that's his name in Notting Hill. What is his name? Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant is in the film, he's not in the series, but who is in the series is Theo James. And Theo James, I think you might like him in The Gentleman. Anyway, yeah, it's really good and it's so, like, you just want to watch another one, so there's a, that's a really good recommendation. And there's also one on Channel 4 called The Push, and that is based on a true story. It's a two-parter. It's a really sad story, and um, it's such an interesting watch, and it happened in 2021, so it's only three years ago, and I just don't remember it. Like, I don't remember hearing it on the news. Maybe it happened in Edinburgh, so maybe it was like on the local news, but it's a really good watch, but it is really sad. I've got loads of editing to do, loads of admin. I've got all of this stuff to tidy up, so I've got a busy afternoon ahead of me. And then tomorrow, um, my friend... Sorry, there's a bit of fluff floating around. My friend Georgia, her Instagram is Life in the Fash Lane. I met her at one of the very first blogger events that I went to. I don't know if it was 2016. It must have been. I reckon it was 2016. We've kept in touch for all these years and I still see her every now and then. She lives in Bristol, so we don't see each other as much um, anymore. But tomorrow we have hired a studio. She found this really cool studio in London. So we've hired that for a few hours because we're gonna film some videos together. We've got different body shapes. Uh, so we just wanted to show like similar outfits on different body shapes. So I'm so looking forward to doing that with her. Um, we're gonna film a couple of outfits. So I don't actually know when we're gonna put those live. So yeah, just keep an eye out on Instagram for those. See, that's what I mean with it. Like you almost don't even need to go to the gym because you get such a good workout at work. Cardi B. Is that what I was used to think before? I just gave you in it. You need to put, yeah, put that in the washing machine, please. Um, before I forget, I just wanted to show you this. This is freezing on my hand. When you have finished a candle and want to either reuse the candle jar or just recycle it, I've seen people boil water and pour it in. And for me, that just doesn't work. But what works so well, and I really hope it works now, is put it in the freezer. So you put the whole thing in the freezer and then you just... Then you just what? Well, it just pops out. Oh, there you go. It's coming, I think. Oh, there you go. How satisfying. So clumsy. Oh, no. How satisfying is that? And then you are left with virtually a clean candle jar. This is one of the Rituals ones. It smells so nice. It still actually smells of the wax, but it's such a nice pot as well. So I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to use that for, but I'm going to keep that. Also... I know what you could use it for. What? You can use it for putting next to the hundred other ones that you've got that you do nothing with. Yeah, I do like to, um, because I just feel like they're too pretty to throw away. But there's actually a local Facebook um, page that's like uh, people put things on there that they don't want, but like other people might want just for, like for free, um, like a recycle page. And sometimes I put these on because sometimes other people might be making crafts or like, I know in lockdown a lot of people made candles and they're still doing that. So these would be really nice for that. So I never throw them away. I want them to be able to be reused again. But in my, um, I forgot to update you earlier. So yesterday, when I went into London, I said to you that I took my Loewe basket bag because I hadn't, I, well, I wasn't that happy with how it worn. And it's only, like, it's a seasonal bag. I'm only wearing it in spring and summer. And they basically said that they would send it off to Spain um, and see if they could get it fixed. So I left it with them and they're gonna get in contact to see what they can do. So fingers crossed I get it back and I get it fixed. Anyway. 
So we've got dinner in the oven. We've made not like a cottage pie or a shepherd's pie. This is what we were saying. It's like a turkey pie. It's like the, um, the mince is turkey mince with vegetables and we've done a sweet potato top um, instead of a normal mashed potato. Here is our turkey pie. It looks so good. We also sprinkled some grated mozzarella on the top as well. I'm so hungry. This looks so like hearty, but it's actually quite healthy. Turkey mince is quite light, isn't it? I don't eat red meat anyway, so... Um, turkey mince, sweet potato and vegetables with a little bit of cheese on top. I am so excited. a little DIY project and realised I probably should have shown you um, what it looked like at the beginning but this side wasn't painted so I bought this recently it's a secondhand vase but I love the shape of it but I don't love the colour especially this like yellow I'm not really sure what's going on there so I'm just having a little DIY moment I'm just using a like a washing up sponge and I'm going to dab on gently the lighter paint and then I'm going to go over it with like a brownie paint so wish me luck <laughs> so much better than it did before it's more in um colors of my house that i can now actually use i didn't know how heavy or light to go with this brown i just wanted to like take the lightness out of it and just add a little bit of like texture and make it look a bit old and dirty basically i always look on facebook marketplace for old vases and things i think that's such a good place to find them and then you can just paint them any colour you like and I think it's such a nice way of getting some really nice pieces really cheap basically and you can completely make it your own. Hello everyone it is Saturday morning I woke up so early today at like 20 past six and I felt like wide away so I've actually had quite a productive morning which actually feels really nice a little bit of blue sky this morning always perks you up um, I'm just getting ready because today, well, it's one of my best friend's birthday tomorrow and today we are going for just like a really casual, lovely little, um, well actually if you live in Hertfordshire, the place we're meeting at is Black Goo. Sorry, I know this looks so weird. <laughs> Let me explain. To put my serum on my neck, I find like it just such an awkward angle to go like this, whereas if I go underneath, I feel like I can like get it. <laughs> on my neck more. So we're just going for like a really casual little brunch, lunch. And then there's a lovely big park here, so we're going for a walk after. So it's so nice just to do something really low key for breakfast, um, for a birthday. I love, I'm loving like low key things. Um, we used to go into London like all the time and like, I just couldn't think of anything worse. I had such a nightmare with trains this week um, that it just really like puts me off and I just, no, I'm just, I'm here for the quiet weekends. Also, when whenever we meet up, we never really wear any makeup, which I absolutely love. We just all turn up in our leggings and no makeup on, and I love it. I'm really loving this at the moment. It's the Elizabeth Arden Provage. It's called City Smart. So it's got um, loads of protection from pollutions, and it's got really high SPF 50 protection. So it just is like a shield to protect your skin from everything. I should have showed you a bit more up close. It's almost got like a very, very little tint to it. And it just makes your skin look so glowy. Um, oh, I just need to brush through my brows with a bit of brow gel, pop on a bit of lip oil, 
and then I'm ready. I actually just need to pop to the shops because I've already got her a few little bits, but I forgot to get a card and I'd like to get some fresh flowers. And actually Tom and I are going away tomorrow on a little stay over, which will be in next week's vlog. And we run out of toothpaste. So I just need to go and get some toothpaste. And I'm also just gonna grab some little sweets and bits like that for the journey. My head feels so full up of like a hundred different things to do and to remember at the moment. I feel really forgetful, so I can't remember exactly what I've told you in this vlog or not. But earlier in the week, when I was in London, I made a purchase. I made my first Hermes purchase, which is so exciting. I bought a pair of shoes, which I'm gonna show you in a sec. And they're just very classic. I have bought the dupes or very similar high street versions over the years. I've worn, and I've worn them so much. So I know that I love the style, the color is classic. Really lovely, simple summer sandal that I know I'm gonna get so much wear from for years to come. tripod so I'm doing this holding the camera in one hand doing my brows in the other I can't really see in that viewfinder either I hadn't made the bed yet and I found Bertie here his head is on the tv remote and look he just looks so sweet when he's sleeping I mean I think he looks sweet all the time but especially sweet when he's fast asleep like this and his little pink belly's out. <laughs> when I did the shoot with Georgia earlier this week in London, um, it was in Battersea and we walked past the um, Battersea dogs and cats home and I just felt full of emotion that I just want to, like I just wish that I could go in there and just take them all home. I don't think I would ever be able to go into somewhere like that and not not bring someone home. I just couldn't. Depending on how long you've been watching my content, we didn't buy Bertie as a puppy. We we kind of adopted him from another family who um, they got him as a puppy and they just felt like it was too much. So we got him from another family. So I'm all for kind of like rescuing, adopting where you can. Um, and I would love a second dog. Like I really would. Me and Tom talk about it all the time, but it's just another big commitment. And also we are thinking about you know, I'm going to be 33 this year, Tom's going to be 35 this year. We are, we do want a family as well. So I just don't know how everything's going to play out. So yeah, that is on the cards as well. Um, nothing's happening just yet, don't worry. I will keep you updated in the processes. These are our online friends. I was vlogging the day that I got the phone call to say, would we like to give you a home? And there's a whole YouTube video, I think, dedicated to you. Before I leave you today, um, next Saturday, which is Saturday the 22nd of March, forgot what month we were in, my mum and I are doing a clothes sale. So it's actually a lady that my mum knows has organised it. Um, it's in a church in Amersham in Buckinghamshire. I will leave all the details down below. We have got so many clothes to sell. I think we've got 90 items on five rails. Um, the little flyer thing that I've made that you might have seen on Instagram, I put it as pre-loved because some things have been worn a couple of times, but there's so many things with tags in um, and the proceeds are gonna be split between two charities. Um, as you might be aware I've spoken about on here we lost my uncle a couple of years ago to leukemia so half of the profits will be going to a leukemia charity and then the second half will be going to an animal charity I think the dogs trust but the like, exact charities are to be confirmed um, so we've got yeah so many lovely clothes me and my mum are going to be there um, I've gathered loads of lovely beauty bits as well so what we're going to do is like a little gift with purchase so if somebody buys something we've got like a big basket full of beauty stuff so you can pick something as well and it'll just be so nice to hopefully meet some of you guys as well so hoping sorry I feel like I've really got something on my face. I'm really hoping it's going to be a successful day and I would love to see you there. Okay, so I'm going to love and leave you here today. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch today's vlog and I'll see you next week. Bye!